In this video, we'll look at implementing the newton raphson algorithm for a system of equations with finite difference approximations in the Jacobian matrix. After studying this video, um, you should basically be able to do what I just said. So let's look at an example. So we'll solve this system of equations. Here we have a three, three variable system. Lots of nonlinear things going on here with the sine, the y squared, the natural log, z cubed, 2 to the y. So lots of nonlinearity in this system. It would be relatively tedious to calculate all of these partial derivatives. So we'll look at how we can do this with finite difference approximations. So again, here is the main M file to call newton raphson And included here is our anonymous function to calculate the function evaluations at each iteration and our initial guesses of 1, 1, 1. And then the Jacobian is defined in an external file. Just a reminder that that at sign there is because this is in an external function m file and let's take a look at what that function m file looks like so first it looks like a lot of typing but you might realize pretty quickly that you can do a lot of this with cut and paste so here we have I've just defined anonymous functions and I did them here in terms of x y and z just because it made it easier to think through the partial derivatives but I have defined one for each function each of the equations and here's our del that's the amount that we're going to um, perturb we'll say each function to estimate its partial partial derivative so then we just go through so in this first equation you'll see right here we will perturb the uh, first variable x1 in this case that's x and then divide by that and in the second one we'll df1 dx2 we're going to perturb x2 divide by del times x2 and in the third one we're going to add a little bit to x3 that's all I mean when I say perturb we're just going to add a small amount to x3 divide by x3 and so if you you can see a pattern here in the second three we're going to be working with the second equation and the last ones will work in the last equation and then the last thing to do is just to put these results in matrix form always remember that form of the Jacobian matrix where each column is all of the partial derivatives with respect to one of the variables, so in this case x1, so x1 is the first element in the first column, second element in the first column, third element in the first column, and each row is for corresponds to one of the equations in the system, so df1 in the first row, and df2 in the second row, and df3 in the third row. So that builds the Jacobian. So we can go back here, call this function, and uh, see what we get. So I've actually included two outputs here. The first is for our initial guesses of 1, 1, and 1. And we see that Newton Rapson solves the system. It's about 0 0.6, 2, 0.4, and 2. Very small residuals again approximate relative error on the order of 10 to the minus 10 also very good and quick convergence six iterations I've also included a second case and I'd encourage you to play with more cases and see what you find but it, in this case I used 10 10 and 10 as the initial guesses and the one thing that's kind of interesting here you'll notice is we got some imaginary numbers that showed up somewhere in the calculation and this is one nice thing about MATLAB because it can handle imaginary numbers and to get a sense of where that might happen in the iteration if you go back and look at the original system of equations we have 
a natural log of z. So in a case where z is less than zero, that's where we might get some imaginary numbers. But no big deal. MATLAB keeps chugging along. We do have imaginary components to our residual and our approximate relative error values, but that's all very small numbers, and we did eventually converge on the same solution to the system of equations. Though one thing to note is because the initial guesses were farther away from the value, the convergence was a little slower. Still, 10 iterations is plenty satisfactory. So I'd encourage you to play with this example and uh, maybe try some different initial guesses and see what else you can discover.